Amen. It's time for that of our morning uh, worship prayer. Amen. Um, if there are any requests, we give time, the opportunity to lift up um, any prayer requests. Amen. Um, while we're getting our, our minds and hearts ready to go before the throne of grace, uh, we want to lift up. Amen. Amen. Uh, Carnita Anderson. Uh, let us be in prayer with Aria Linden, uh, Michael Davison, Caleb Powell, and Kamari O'Neill. Amen. And if there are those that join with us, uh, Facebook Live and Zoom, if you can type it in into the comment chat, amen, we will lift those prayer requests up unto the Lord. <clears throat> Amen. Let us go before the Lord. Amen. We just thank you right now, Jesus, for just who you are, O oh God. Father, we glorify you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, because you are wonderful, O oh God. Father, we thank you and we do glorify you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, because you are worthy and worthy to be praised, O oh God. My God, thank you, oh my God, for this time that you've called us, oh God, to gather in your name, oh God. Father, oh God, to that of worship you, oh God. Father, to lift you up, oh God, and to give you praise in the name of Jesus. Thank you, oh God, that you called us to this time, oh God, to lift you up, oh God, and to magnify you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, O oh God, that you called us to gather in that of your name, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God, that you, O oh God, extended mercy and grace upon us, O oh God. Father, we are so grateful, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We're grateful, Father, O oh God, for your love and kindness, O oh God, towards us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we just magnify you and worship you in the name of Jesus. God, you are great, O oh God. There is none like unto you, O oh God. Father, O oh God, you are amazing, O oh God. You're beautiful for all situations, O oh God. There is absolutely no one like to alike unto you, O oh God. There is none beside thee, O oh my God. There is none to compare unto your wisdom, O oh God. There is none to compare unto your love, O oh God. There is none to compare, O oh my God, unto your authority, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, you are great, O oh God. O oh my God, in the name of Jesus, we serve a great and wonderful, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, Father, O oh God, you sit on the throne, O oh God. O oh my God, of that of authority, O oh my God. In the name of Jesus, for you have created all things, O oh God, for your purpose, O oh God. You've created all things for that of your good, oh my God, in the name of Jesus. And so for that, oh God, all things, oh God, come subject, oh God, oh my God, to that of your authority, oh God, all things come subject, oh my God, oh my God, to your power and to that of your word, oh my God, oh my God, all things, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, come subject, oh God, oh my God, to the obedience, oh God. Oh my God of Jesus Christ, oh my God. And so everything that would try to rise, oh my God. Oh my God, against the knowledge of who you are, oh my God. Father, every imagination, every thought, oh my God. Oh my God, we put it on a rest, oh my God. In the name of Jesus, every care, oh my God. Every concern, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, we submit it unto you, oh my God. In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, you're wonderful, oh God. Oh my God, and we bring it subject, oh God. Oh my God, to the obedience of Jesus Christ, yes, Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer, oh my God. In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, thank you. 
Oh my God, you're wonderful. Oh my God. In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. Oh God. Oh my God, before we ask of anything, my God. Oh my God, before, oh God, we request of anything, oh God. Oh my God, we come before you, oh my God. Oh my God, with that of thanksgiving, my God. Oh my God, before we ask of anything, my God. We come before you, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, with praise, oh God. Oh my God, before we ask of anything, oh my God. In the name of Jesus, we come before you with that of worship, oh my God. In the name of Jesus, you are wonderful, oh my God. Yes, you are. Oh my God, and you're worthy to be praised, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh my God, we magnify you in this place, my God. Oh my God, yes, oh Lord, we exalt you in this place, my God. Oh my God, we tell you we love you, oh my God. In the name of Jesus, we express our love towards you, oh my God. Oh my God, in the name of Jesus, yes, oh Lord, for your glory and your honor's sake, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, you be glorified, yes, O Lord. You be lifted up, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, yes, O Lord, yeah. You said if you be lifted up, my God, thank you. My God, you will draw all men unto you, my God. Oh, my God, and as we lift you up in this place, my God. Oh, my God, we pray, oh, my God. Yes, Lord, that you will draw, oh, my God. Oh, my God, souls, oh, my God, that is lost, oh, my God. Oh, my God, unto you, oh, my God, as we lift you up, oh, my God. Oh, my God, that you begin to deliver, oh, my God. That you begin to heal, oh, my God, in the name of Chief. Thank you, my God. Oh, my God, as we begin to worship you, oh, my God. Oh, my God. You begin to heal bodies, my God. Oh, my God, that sickness, oh, my God. Oh, my God, come subject, oh, my God, to that of your authority, my God. Oh, my God, as we lift you up, oh, my God. Oh, my God, in the name of Jesus, yes, oh, Lord. Oh, my God, chains are broken, oh, my God. Oh, my God, as we lift you up, oh, my God. Oh, my God, deliverance, oh, my God. Oh, my God, as we lift you up, oh, my God. In the name of Jesus, yes, oh, Lord, hearts are mended, my God. Oh, my God, as we lift you up, oh, my God. Oh, my God, souls are begin to be set free, oh, my God, and made whole, oh, my God, and made free in Christ Jesus, my God, for your glory and your honor's sake, oh, my God, in the name of Jesus, as we lift you up, oh, God, my God, as we honor you, my Jesus. Oh, my God, as we praise you, my Jesus, yes, Lord. Oh, my God, yes, Lord, every concern, oh, my God. Oh, my God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, my God, yes, Lord, every circumstance, oh, my God. Oh, my God, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, it is coming together. It is working together, oh, God. Oh, my God, for the good of them that loves you, oh, my God. Oh, my God, in the name of Jesus, oh, God. Oh, my God, and we don't just worship you, oh, God. Oh, my God, that you move on our behalf, oh, my God. Oh, my God, but we worship you, oh, my God, simply because you are God, oh, God. And you are due worship, oh, my God. And you are due praise, oh, my God. Oh, my God, you are due, oh, my God, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. Lord, oh God, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, for your glory and your honor's sake, oh my God. Father, if you do nothing for us, oh God, oh my God, you are still worthy, oh God. Oh my God, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, for your glory and for your honor's sake, oh my God, thank you, my God. Thank you, oh God, thank you, Jesus, yes, Lord. We glorify you in this place. We magnify you in, in this place, Jesus. Let your presence be made known, oh my God. Let your glory, my God, in the name of Jesus, be made known in this place, oh God. Father, oh God, every home and every house, oh God, oh my God, that will tune in, oh my God, in this worship, oh God, experience with you. Let your presence, my God, be made known, oh my God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, let your presence begin to minister, my God. Yes, Lord, oh my God, to every mind and every heart, oh my God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, for your glory and your honor's sake, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, thank you, do it for your praise, oh God. Oh my God, yeah, every sickness concerned, oh God. Every health concerned, oh my God, in the name of Jesus. We are people that believe, oh my God, that we serve a God. Oh my God, who is able to heal all manners of sickness and disease, oh God. 
Oh my God, for you have healed, oh my God, all manners of sickness and disease, oh God. Oh my God, you have healed all mental illness, oh my God. You have defeated, oh my God, all mental illness, oh my God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, you have, oh God. In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, you have healed all oh God. Oh, my God, all eternal complications, oh, God. Oh, my God, in the name of Jesus, you have defeated it, oh, my God. In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, with the finished work on the cross, oh, my God. Oh, my God, of the cross, oh, my God, you have defeated death, oh, my God. Oh, my God, you have defeated sin, oh, my God. Oh, my God, you have defeated hell, oh, my God. You have defeated sickness, oh, my God. In the name of Jesus, we are those. Those believers, oh my God, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, that stand on your word, oh my God, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, that you have rose, oh my God, oh my God, from the grave with that of all power, oh my God, oh my God, in that of your head, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, thank you, my God. We serve a God in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, that can do all things but fail, my God. My God, we serve a God. Thank you, my God, in the name of Jesus that is able to do all things, oh God. All things are possible, oh my God. Oh my God, with that of your power, my God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, oh my God. Yes, Lord, every addiction, my God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, oh my God, you have defeated it, oh my God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, oh God. We bless you and we honor you, oh my God. Oh my God, in the name of Jesus, Father, oh God, every father in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, questions, oh God, oh my God, every concern, oh my God, that's past, oh God, oh my God, doctor's knowledge, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, oh God, oh my God, we serve a God who is not limited, oh my God, oh my God, in the name, in the name of Jesus, for you know all things, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, you see all things, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, oh my God, we thank Thank you, oh God. Yes, Lord, whatever the doctors, oh God. Oh my God, don't know, oh my God. You know, oh my God. Oh my God, and by your power, oh my God. Oh my God, by your stripes, oh my God. Oh my God, we are healed, oh my God. Oh my God, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. Oh my God, for you do the miraculous, oh my God. In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, for your glory and for your honor, sick Jesus. Oh my God, we thank you, Jesus. My God, you're wonderful, Jesus. Oh God, you're good, Jesus. Yes, Lord, we love you. Mm. My God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my God. Thank you. Thank you, yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, oh God. Thank you. Mm, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh God, thank you for your word, oh God, that reminds us, be ye not anxious for nothing, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, oh Lord, be ye not nervous, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, of nothing, oh God. Oh my God, yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus, be ye not anxious, oh God, be careful for nothing, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, thank you, oh my God, you're wonderful, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, you remind us, oh God, oh my God, but with that of praise, thank you, with prayer, oh my God, yes, Lord, supplication, oh my God, yes, Lord, oh my God, we make our requests known unto you, oh my God, oh my God, in the God of peace, oh God, that surpasses all understanding. Oh my God, shall guard our very heart and our very mind. Oh my God, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, it is in you. Oh my God, oh my God, that peace oh, resides. Oh my God, in the name of Jesus, it is in you. Oh my God, sound minds. Oh my God, resides. Oh my God, in the name of Jesus, for you have not given us, my God, the spirit of fear. My God, thank you. You have not given us the spirit of anxiousness. Oh my God, you have not given us the spirit of nervousness. Oh my God. In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. But you're giving us power, my God. You're giving us love, oh God. And you're giving us a sound mind, Jesus. My God, thank you. Oh, my God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for soundness of mind, oh my God. 
thank you for victory, oh my God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, oh my God, oh my God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for it, my God. My God, we bless you in this place. We honor you in this place, Jesus. Yes, oh, oh God, oh my God, that you be glorified, my God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, thank you. Thank you, oh God. Thank you, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, thank you. Your thoughts towards us are that of peace, oh God, not of evil, oh God. But to give us, oh God, an expected end, oh God. A hopeful future, oh God, in the name of Jesus. My God, we love you, oh God. We thank you. Father, have thine own way, oh God, amongst this service, oh God. This worship service, Jesus. Yes, Lord, oh God. Father, as we lift you up, oh God. As we honor you, Jesus. As we reverence you as our king, our, our savior, our deliverer, our healer, oh God. As we reverence you, oh God, as our great king, oh God. In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Oh my God, yes, Lord, let signs, wonders, and miracles, oh God, in the name of Jesus, be manifested, oh God, amongst your people, oh God, upon this earth, oh God, upon this land, oh my God, in the name of Jesus. My God, yes, Lord. Mm. Oh my God, yes, Lord, before every move of you, oh God. Oh my God, there proceeds worship, my God. There proceeds prayer, my God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, my God, in the name of Jesus, before every move, oh, my God. Oh, my God, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, there is a sound, my God, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. Oh, my God, in the name of Jesus. My God, and we your people, oh my God, oh my God, out of the belly of our hearts, oh my God, oh my God, out of our soul, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, out of our spirit, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, oh my God, oh my God, yes, Lord, we give forth a sound, oh my God, oh my God, of praise, oh my God, oh my God, in that of worship, oh my God. Oh, my God, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. Oh, God, for you are wonderful, oh, my God. Oh, my God, you are worthy, Jesus. Oh, my God, we lift you up, oh, my God. Oh, my God, we open up our mouths, oh, my God. Oh, my God, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, oh, my God. Oh, my God, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, oh, God. Oh, God, oh, my God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, my God. You're wonderful. Yes, you are. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes, you are. Oh, God. In the name of Jesus, we bless you in this place. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God. We bless you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, God. We bless you, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, my God. We thank you. Oh, God. Yes, Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, God. In the name of Jesus. Mm. Oh, God, you're wonderful. Oh, God. Oh, my God, you're wonderful, Jesus. Yes, you are. Oh, my God. Yes, you are. Oh, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, every prayer request answered. Thank you, oh, God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, oh, God. Oh, my God. In the name of Jesus, every concern answered. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Oh, my God, that you did not deny your people. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh, my God. Every request. Oh, my God. It is heard. Oh, my God. Thank you. Oh, my God, that you lent your ear unto your people. Oh, my God. And it's answered. Oh, my God. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And while we're waiting for the manifestation. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. While we're waiting for the manifestation. Oh, my God. We give you worship. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. While we're waiting for the manifestation. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We lift you up. Oh, my God. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, we worship you, oh, my God. Oh, my God, we bless you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, for your glory and your honor's sake, oh, my God. Oh, my God, in the name of Jesus. 
thank you that you heard the hearts of your people, oh God. Oh my God, yes, oh Lord, and you sent the answer, oh my God. Oh my God, in the name of Jesus, yes, oh Lord, yes. Oh my God, yeah, 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 yeah. In the name of Jesus, thank you. Oh my God, every answer concerned, oh my God, for every loved one and family member, oh God, we thank you, Jesus. Oh my God. Oh my God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, oh God, that you answered, oh God. Oh my God, thank you that you're moving on their behalf, oh my God. Oh my God, thank you that you're saving them, oh my God. Oh my God, thank you that you're bringing them back home, oh my God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, oh Lord. Oh my God, for your glory and your honor's sake, oh my God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, my God, yes. Home, oh, God. Yes, Lord, in that of your presence, oh, God. Home, oh, my God, in the name of Jesus, in right relationship with you, oh, God. Relationship and fellowship with that of you, oh, my God. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. My God, we love you. My God, we glorify you. We lift you up, oh, Jesus. Thank you, oh, God. My God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we love you, Jesus. My God, we bless you, Jesus. Oh God, we thank you, oh God. Oh God, you're wonderful. My God, you're wonderful, Jesus. My God, you're, you're wonderful, oh God. Mm. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, oh God. We praise you, oh God. Mm. We worship you, oh God. Forever, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We love you forever, oh God. Oh my God, in the name of Jesus. We honor you forever, Jesus. We adore you forever, Jesus. We magnify you forever, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh, my God, for your glory, my Jesus. My God, for your honor's sake, oh, God. Oh, my God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. My God, you're so good. We bless you, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, how great you are. How magnificent you are, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, oh God, we thank you, oh God, that you've heard the heart of your people, oh God. My God, that you heard the cries of your people, oh God. My God, in the name of Jesus. Father, oh God, we thank you, oh God. Oh my God, and Father, oh God, Father, oh God, those that believe, oh God, and that agree, oh my God, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, with this prayer, oh God, we seal it with a praise, oh God, oh my God, we seal it with worship, oh my God, we seal it with the glory, oh God, my God, we seal it with worship, Jesus, my God, we seal it with the praise, Jesus. Oh, God, we seal it, oh, God, with thanksgiving, Jesus. Oh, my God, my God. Oh, God. Oh. You're wonderful, Jesus. Yes, you are. Oh, oh thank you for hearing the hearts of your people, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, God, thank you for hearing the hearts of your people, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh God, and we love you. Oh, Jesus, we honor you, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God, we love you forever. We love you. Forever, we love you. Forever, Lord. 
We love you forever. We love you forever. We love you forever, Lord. We love you forever. We love you forever. We love you forever, Lord. We worship forever. We worship forever. We worship forever, Lord. We love you forever. We love you forever. We love you forever, Lord. And we sing glory to God, glory to God, glory to God forever, glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God forever. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God forever. We say glory to God. Glory to God, glory to God forever. We worship forever, we worship forever, we worship forever, Lord. We worship forever. We worship forever. We worship forever, Lord. We sing glory to God. Glory to God. We sing glory to God forever glory to God glory to God glory to God forever glory to God glory to God Glory to God forever. Can we just take this time to worship the Lord? Let the Lord know that he is wonderful. With your own words, your own vocabulary, your own voice, let the Lord know that he is worthy unto you. How great he is, how wonderful he is. How beautiful he is for that of all situation. How great he is in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God forever. Glory to God, glory to them, glory to God.
forever. We love you forever. We love you forever. We love you forever, Lord. We worship forever. We worship forever. We worship forever, Lord. We sing glory to God. Glory to God, glory to God forever, mm, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God forever. Glory to God. Glory to God forever. Jesus, you deserve the glory. Oh, you deserve the glory, Jesus. You deserve worship, Jesus. Yes, you do. You deserve it, Lord. You deserve it. Mm, you deserve it. You deserve it. Oh, you deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it, Lord. You deserve it. Can we lift that up with one voice? You deserve, you deserve it. You deserve it, Lord. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve the honor, Lord. You deserve it. Jesus, you're worthy. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Oh, God. Jesus. You deserve You deserve it. Oh, God. You deserve it. You deserve it. Oh God, you deserve it, Jesus. You deserve it. Oh God, oh God. Oh my God, we worship you, Jesus, past our circumstances, my God. My God, you deserve it. Oh God. Every circumstance and situation, oh God, we worship past. You deserve that, Jesus. You deserve it, Lord. You deserve it. Mm -hmm. 
Jesus, you deserve it. Of all glory and honor, oh Jesus, you deserve of all power, oh Jesus, a name that is given above all name, oh God, and every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess, oh my God, you deserve it. Mm-hmm. You deserve it, Jesus. You deserve it, Jesus. Mm-hmm. You deserve it, Jesus. Oh, God, we love you, Jesus, 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 oh, God. Yes, you're still good, oh, God. Oh, my God, yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. My God, yeah, we glorify you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh, my God, in the name of Jesus. You deserve it, Jesus. Oh God, my God, my God. Mm-hmm. You deserve it. You deserve it. Mm-hmm. It's a privilege and honor to worship at your throne. It's a privilege and honor to worship at your throne. It's a privilege and honor to worship at your throne, to be called into your presence as your own Lord. It's a, it's a privilege and honor to worship at your throne. It's, it's a privilege and honor to worship at your throne. It's a privilege, honor. God, we worship at Worship at your throne to be called into your presence as your own. For you are holy, oh, so holy. You are holy. Oh, so holy. Mm, you are holy, faithful. Oh, so faithful. You are faithful. Oh, so faithful. It's a privilege. And I know to worship at your throne, 
to be called into your presence as your own to be called into your presence as your own we worship you oh Lord we worship you cause I worship I worship Israel, my God. I worship Israel, oh God. I worship, worship Israel. Amen, amen, as we prepare our hearts for the reading of our scripture. Amen, let's continue to worship the Lord who is wonderful. I worship is for you. I worship, worship is for you. Cause I worship. Worship is for real because I worship. Worship is for real. Today's reading will become from will be coming from Joshua, chapter four, verses nineteen through twenty-four. On the tenth day of the first first month, the people went up from Jor from the Jordan and camped at Gil Gilgal at the eastern border of Jericho. And Joshua set up by Gilgal the 12 stones they had taken out of the Jordan. He said to the Israelites, in the future, when your descendants ask their parents, what do these stones mean? Tell them, Israel crossed the Jordan on dry ground. For the Lord your God dried up the Jordan before you until you had crossed over. The Lord your God did to the Jordan what he had done to the Red Sea when he dried it up before us until we had crossed over. He did this so that all the peoples on the earth might know, might know that the hand of the Lord is powerful and so that you might always fear the Lord your God. Peace and peace to everyone. This morning, I feel closed in over here. Let me. Mm -mm. Grace and peace, everyone. I stand before you this morning to do exhortation. As I thought about exhortation this morning, we are in the 11th month of the year. And all of us know what this month stands for. Thanksgiving. So what you're thinking of is Thanksgiving. We should be thanking God that he gave us this opportunity to even enter into this month. Because as we all know, last night, the time fell backwards. But God didn't fall backwards with us. He kept going forward. So when you think about those two things already this month, we should be giving God all the honor, the glory, and the praise that we can while we can because he thought about us to let us enter into Thanksgiving and didn't fall back on us. He kept going forward. Let's go forward and give God a praise. Grace and peace, family. Here with our 
announcements, corporate prayer and consecration, Monday, November the 8th through Saturday, November the 13th. Each member is being asked to pray or fast during one of the eight prayer watches. Monday, November the 8th, 2021, School of Discipleship, The Power of Worship, our own Elder Bernard Wright, facilitator, 6 p.m. Sunday, November the 21st, ordination service for Nakia and Angela Wilson at 9.30. Our weekly services, Monday, School of Discipleship, Tuesday, Corporate Prayer, Wednesday, Bible Study, Thursday, Corporate Prayer, and all weekly services begin at 6 p.m. Our upcoming events, Saturday, November the 11th, Church Summit at 10 a.m., Sunday, December the 19th, Journey Through the Psalms, 10 a.m., Friday, December the 31st, New Year's Eve service, 6 p.m. The City of Light acknowledge all our November birthdays or anniversaries. Do we have any? If you have some, can you please stand and give us your date? November 17th. <laughs> November 15th. Whoop, whoop. All right, let's give a hand clap to all our November babies and anniversaries. If there's any announcements, you can please contact me at the City of Refuge 18 at Outlook.com. And on behalf of the city, we welcome all our guests and friends in Zoom, Facebook Live, our conference call, and here on campus. And we have a special song just for you, Elder. <laughs> Jesus in me, the Jesus in me, loves Jesus in him. The Jesus in me, loves Jesus in him, so is he. It's all love, it's all love. The Jesus in me, the Jesus in me, loves Jesus in you. The Jesus in me, loves Jesus in so easy. So easy. So easy. It's to love, it's to love. Look at the neighbor and say, I, I love you. I love you, babe, you can't do. I love you, babe, you can't do nothing. So, so easy. So easy. So easy. It's to love, it's to love. One more time, say, I love you. I love you when you can't do nothing about it. I love you, I love you when you can't. So it's so easy. To love, easy to love. All right, I'd like to ask everyone to stand to read the affirmation of vision if you have it. We are a church that hears, reads, studies, memorizes, and meditates on the Word of God. 
we are members of body of Christ that are fitly joined with the body at large. Therefore, there, this body is passionate in our worship, experience, service of God. This body operates in the diversity of gifts and set forth in the first Corinthians and conclude, but not restricted to the gifts of wisdom, knowledge, faith, healing, miracles, prophecy, discerning of spirits and tongues. We are teaching ministry whose focus in the spiritual excellence of now I said this ministry that we are people with zeal of God, but not according to the knowledge. We are a church whose foundation is love, for a God is love. With this is our spirit, this church will express God's love through the ministry of healing. Moreover, because this is true, we suffer long are kind. We in, not, do not brag on ourselves, and we are not arrogant. We do not behave unseemly, nor seek our own. We are easily provoked and think no evil. We do not rejoice in evil. We rejoice in truth. We bear all things, believe all things, have hope in all things, and endure all things. The family unit is recognized as a vital entity to success of the ministry. Therefore, this will always promote initiatives for healthy sounds, families, and values. Finally, we are a church that desires to be people equipped to the ministry of excellence both locally and globally. Furthermore, our ownership and responsibility as a Christian means that we must know and fulfill our individual divine purpose. This is our vision. Amen. Grace and peace, family. Before we start with the offering, uh, November the 11th, to be exact, is also Veterans Day. Um, if you know a veteran, uh, reach out to them. Um, the suicide rate among veterans is really high. Um, only 2% of our population ever served in the military. And we all benefit from that, just to be here worshiping. A lot of countries, you will get killed for attending church. So we just want to show appreciation to our veterans uh, on Thursday. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Uh, I'll be reading from 2 Corinthians. My eyes are going bad, y'all. Also, I forgot to share with you last week. Uh, I went to the doctor on Friday, had a CT scan done, and it came out positive. Everything's looking okay. Um, he deserves it. I like to thank God for that. Um, remember this whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, 
and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion. For God loves a cheerful giver, and God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will, be, you will abound in every good work. And there's several ways you can give here at the city. Uh, we have Cash App, and that's a dollar sign, City of Refuge 18. Givelify, that's uh, Thacker's Memorial UHC. You can uh, mail it in to P.O. Box 611, Brown Summit, North Carolina, 27214. Or if you're here on the campus, uh, we'll give you an envelope, and um, you can give that way. Uh, also, is it Square available today, Pastor? It's not available, okay. But uh, those are the ways you can give, and uh, he deserves it. I mean, that's just a small token of what he's done for us, and he, he deserves all the, all the credit. And, um, you know, if you can't give, we, we, we pray that God blesses you that you will be able to give. Um, and if you are giving, we pray that, that God uh, returns that blessing to you tenfold um, and we just pray that uh, we continue to do his work uh, to be good stewards of what you're given to uh, have a positive impact you don't more than the other expected You've done more than we ever expected. You've done more than we ever expected. You've done more than we ever. You've done more than we ever expected. come to you this morning just thank you thank you God for letting us see another day and letting us be here to worship and praise you again thank you God for those who have given this morning and thank you God for those who couldn't give pray that you uh, bless those who've given pray that you return their blessing back tenfold and for those who weren't able to give we pray that you bless them so that they will be able to give, God. We pray that we'll be able to continue to do your work and honor your word. Amen.
my church family, they let me know. It says, you are here, moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. My favorite part, y'all. You know this part. I know you do. We make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Hey, we make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are here, touching every heart. I worship you, I worship you. You are healed, healing every heart. I worship you, Jesus. I worship you. You are healed, oh. Turning lives around, I worship you. I worship you. You are here, mending every heart. I worship you. I worship you said you are a miracle wake maker like promise keep a light in my darkness my god that is who you are mm. i said you my way maker miracle worker promise keep a light in the darkness my Make a way, Lord. We make a miracle work, a promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. He's a way maker, miracle work, a promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God. That is who you are. Mm, I know him as a way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. He is your way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Ha! He is our, our way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. He is our.
Come on, let's stand together. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Come on, lift your voice and declare He's our waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. Our God, that is who. Come on, without the music, Waymaker. That is who you are. He's our Waymaker. Come on, lift your voice one more time. Light in the darkness, that is who you are. Miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God. Oh, our way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the oh, our God. Way maker, promise light in my God, that is. Our way, we make a promise keeper.
You're our way maker. A miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. That's who you are. He is our way. A miracle, a promise. Now, will you just lift those hands and will you worship him for a moment? If he's made at least one way for you, if he's worked at least one miracle for you, if he's kept at least one promise for you, if he's lit at least one dark place for you, if he is your God, uh, yeah, will you open up your mouth now that your hands are lifted and will you worship the God that made a way for you, the God that lit ways for you that work miracles for you come on this ain't the time to be quiet this is your time to appreciate the God that did it all for you it wasn't your mama it wasn't your daddy it wasn't your family it was God hallelujah that made way after way the open door after door that work miracle after miracle come on come on open up your mouth and give your God praise in this room room hallelujah for doing it time and time again come on open your mouth come on let heaven hear you that's who you are that's who you are that's who you are my God. So I'm going to give you 30 seconds to look at your neighbor and I just want you to testify to them. Hallelujah. Tell them how good God's been to you. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Open up your mouth and I need you to testify. Let them know how good God's been to you this week. Hallelujah. Let them know the ways God made for you this week. Hallelujah. Come on. Look at your neighbor. Look at them. Hallelujah. Don't let them look away from you. Get their attention. Hallelujah. And talk about your God. God. Talk about how good your God is. Come on, come on, come on. You got 20 more seconds to talk about how great our God is. Come on here in this room. Listen, he made a way for us. Uh, that's why we're standing here today because he made a way for us. That's why we're in our right mind because he made a way for us. That's why, that's why we're not locked up. Hallelujah, because he made a way, he made a way. Hallelujah, when there did not seem like there was a way, God made the way for us. Is there anybody in this room that would shout, God made the way? And I'm standing here because you made Here we are on the first Sunday of November. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And if the enemy had his way, he would have cut you off in July. Hallelujah. But look at that booger and tell him, I'm still standing here because God made a way. I know you thought I was going to lose it. I know you thought I was going to give up. I know you thought I was going to throw in the... Open up your mouth and testify. Let your adversary know I'm standing here because God made a way. When my back was against the wall, And the enemy thought it was over for you. 
God stepped in and God made a way. Hallelujah. Maybe I ain't talked to real folk in this room, but I need two or three real people in this room that would say, when my back was against the wall and it looked like it was completely over, it didn't look like I was going to bounce back from that one. God stepped in and God made another way he made another way so I'm standing here I'm standing here the miracle worker the light in darkness uh, the way maker, the way maker. See, your, your friend, your neighbor beside you, they don't know. They don't know how tough your week was. They don't know. They don't know how these last 11 months hit you hard. Hallelujah. But I dare you to just look at them one more time and tell them, look, 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 look. Other folk, other folk, the stuff that I've been through these 11, 11 months, other folk lost their mind over the stuff that God bought me out of and I'm still standing right here only because God Come on, talk to them. Uh, and if they don't want to, if they don't want to hear your testimony, find somebody across the room and wave at them and say, "Hey, look. Look, I'm here. I'm here. I'm a, I'm Look at him. Say, wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Ah, I ain't got everything I want. Yeah, I ain't got everything I prayed about. But I thank God today that I'm, that I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Tell them I can't take credit. I can't take credit for it. I can't take credit for it. Hallelujah. But it's because God made a way. It's because God. It's the Lord's doing. And it's marvelous in our eyes. It's no great thing that we did to deserve God blessing us the way that he did. Ah, uh, But when I think of the goodness of my Jesus and and all he's done for me, my soul can do nothing but cry. Hallelujah. <laughs> Made way only because. Is there anybody grateful today that God made a way for you? I dare you to look up to heaven and say, God, you did this. God, you did this thing. God, you did it. You did this. Oh, my God. And God, everything you do is good. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you that you allowed us to still be here. Hallelujah. Another Sunday. Thank you. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody talk to your God for just a moment and let him know that you really appreciate that you're here. November 7th, 2021. Hallelujah. You don't take it for granted that you are here. I'm standing here. Only because when I 
backs were against the wall. And it looked like things were over. When our backs were against the wall. Oh, and it looks as if it was over. When our backs were against the wall. And it looks as if it was over. Can I talk to some real folk for just a moment? And we're going to jump in this word. Uh, listen, has anybody had some days this year, hallelujah, where it looked like it was over? It just looked like. I wish I could talk to some real honest folk. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, I had some days this year that it looked, it looked. It looked like it was over. Ah, ah, but somehow God, God, God. Somehow God, he moved mountains. <laughs> he moved mountains. I don't know how he did it, but he moved mountains. Yes, yes. He moved mountains. He moved mountains. He caused wars to fall with your power. Perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And we're saying. Now, now I need you to tell your, your neighbor just this one last thing and tell them, listen, my testimony is simply this. You can't make me doubt him. After these 11 last, these last 11 months, you can't make me doubt him. You cannot make me doubt the Lord. I don't care what comes. I don't care what else happens. You can't make me doubt the Lord anymore. Uh-uh, you can't. Come on. Come on, tell somebody else. Uh, you can't make me doubt him. You can't make me. You can't. He done showed out this year in such a way that you can't make me doubt him. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. Oh, I ain't got no honest folk in this room that would say, oh yeah, you can't make me doubt him. You can't. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. I might be able to doubt whether or not the economic system is going to stabilize. I might doubt whether or not this COVID is going to last uh, many more months. But one thing I refuse to doubt is God. Oh, my, I refuse to doubt that God has lost control of every, I refuse views that you can't make me doubt it because oh I've seen him move mountains I've seen him make walls fall it was by his own power listen I gotta get in this word Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nick, Psalms 39, God said, David, tell my people, I will not let them be put to shame before their enemies. Glory to God. I came to tell somebody, God is not going to let you be put to shame before your enemies. God is not my God. God, y'all didn't hear what the Lord said. He will not let you be put to shame before your neighbors, your co-workers, your family. Let them say what they want to say. God said, I will not let you. I will. I dare you to square your shoulders back and say all right 
God, I'm in it for the long haul because you are not going to let this situation embarrass me. move now. See, some of y'all don't believe. It's in the book. It's Psalms 39. Hallelujah. Around verse 17. He said, David, I know your enemies are gathering around you. But David, I love you too much to let you uh, be embarrassed uh, before your enemy. Uh, hallelujah. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. The lies that they're talking about you, that's all that it is is a bunch of lies but the truth is that I'm for you and if I be for you I'm more than the world uh, tell your neighbor smile smile God ain't gonna let you be put to shame uh uh uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. They ain't going to repossess nothing that God gave you. They ain't going to fold clothes on nothing. The devil is a liar. Ah, I'm going home. I'm going to sleep. Hallelujah, because God gave me this house. I don't know who the Holy Ghost is talking to today, but you better rejoice that God, hallelujah, ain't going to let you lose nothing. He's not that kind of God to give it to you, hallelujah, and then take it back. He's not an Indian giver, my God. Oh my God, if he wasn't God enough to keep you in it, he wouldn't have gave it to you. My God, if he wasn't God enough to provide for you, he wouldn't have bought you out. If, oh my God, who is the Lord talking to today? God is not going to let you be put to shame. My God, my God, my God. I don't know. I don't know. I hear you, God. I hear you. I hear you. Ah, oh, yeah. If that was for you, I dare you to give God the very best praise. Hallelujah. That you can give him. Come on. I dare you to give. Come on. I dare you to give God the best Come on, is that the best that you can give God? Hallelujah. That he's not going to take it away. Oh, my God. Ivy, I just heard the Lord say, before he takes it away, he'll give you more. Ivy, the Lord said before he takes it away, he's going to give you more. My God, hallelujah. Somebody open up your mouth and thank God for more. Before God takes it away, he'll give you. He'll give you more. My God, hallelujah, y'all grab y'all's Bibles so I can get out of here. Oh, my God, oh, but I dare somebody to shout more, more, more. My God, yeah, hallelujah, oh, yeah, glory to God. God, ah, yeah, God just said, start making room for more, ah, yeah, start making room for more, tell your neighbor, start making room for more, 
The reason you ain't got more yet is because you ain't got room to receive more. But if you start making room, God will give you more. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God, hallelujah, in Genesis, Elder Wright, hallelujah, ah, yeah, Isaac kept digging wells, hallelujah, and the Bible says every time he would dig one well, the enemy would come and try to stop the well, hallelujah, hallelujah, and the Bible says, hallelujah, that Isaac got to the fourth well, Nicole, and the water starts springing up more than the other three wells. And Isaac said, God, I'm going to call this place Rehoboth because you've made room for us. I came to pronounce that you're about to walk in your Rehoboth. God's getting ready to make room Somebody thank God for your Rehoboth. My God, my God, my God, my God, yeah. yeah. Ooh, my God. My God. They thought they were going to discourage Isaac. Oh, yeah, turn to Joshua 4. Oh, yeah. They thought they were going to discourage Isaac uh, by shutting down the other wells. Oh, yeah, the enemy thought he was going to discourage you these last 11 months. Oh, but are there radical folk in this room who said, oh, yeah, it seemed to be a stop, but it just made me push harder. Oh, Oh, yeah, it made me press deeper. It made me go in prayer longer. Oh, yeah, and now that I'm in the 11th month of the year, hallelujah, oh, I believe God is about to make room for us. Yes, glory to God. God, hallelujah, I dare somebody to rear back and thank God for more. Come on, thank him. Now, Markel, oh, the reason that Josh, that, uh, that Isaac needed more was because, uh, hallelujah, his family was growing, his stocks were growing, his herds were growing, and he needed more to be a blessing to those that were connected to him. God's giving you more, not for you, but God has been connected some folk in your life and God's going to give you more so you can be a blessed oh y'all don't hear God this morning ah oh, yeah it's not for you and I to store up for ourselves but it's so that we can show folk that there is a God in the heaven Oh my God, I wish you could high five somebody, hallelujah, but give them an air high five and say, oh yeah, I'm getting more, not just for me, oh yeah, but I'm getting more, hallelujah, so I can pay off somebody else's student loans, oh yeah, I'm not worrying about my loans only, but I want to pay off somebody else's loan, oh, it's is there anybody that you really want more? I want to pay off somebody else's mortgage. I want God to give me more so that I can build God a house debt free that we can walk in saying, God, this house belongs to you and you. Is there anybody that wants God to really give you?
Is there anybody, hallelujah, that you don't need another house for yourself, but you want to buy another house to give to somebody else because you don't want to see them living on the street anymore? Oh, yeah. See, when we got to open heart to be a blessing to God's people, God can trust us with the riches of his Uh, Lisa, oh uh, yeah, I know your business is coming off the ground, hallelujah, but it's not just for you, it's so that you can offer other caterers a job, because my sister, I believe God's getting ready to give you so much business that you won't be able to handle all the business yourself, and you're going to have to say, oh, yeah, oh, I got this other caterer. Oh, and they are starting out just like I did. They're starting out with nothing just like I did. And I don't want them to have to struggle like I. Oh, my God. Is there anybody that trusts God for more? That's it, God. Yeah, the next car I get, God, I'm not buying it for me. I'm going to buy it for somebody else. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The car that I want for myself. God bless me to the place. Hallelujah. That I'm able to buy it, pay it off, and give it to somebody else to bless them and to tell them simply, God loves you. Hallelujah. I don't need a nickel for it. I just want you to know God loves you. Oh my God. Am I talking to some folk that are ready to be a blessing to the kingdom and to the world? So tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, we got responsibility with the more. Yeah, we got a responsibility uh, with this more that God's going to give us. And the responsibility uh, is to the people. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I don't know how I got on that street, but since we're there, we might as well stay there for a few more moments. Hallelujah. Oh yeah. What good is it uh, to keep getting stuff and keep building bigger barns for yourself? Hallelujah. God gives us stuff. He gives us material goods so that we can in turn be a blessing somewhere else. Glory to God. God, hallelujah, because you realize that somebody else started is starting out just like you did, hallelujah, and because God was merciful to you, you ought to not want folk to struggle the way you had to show oh my God, hallelujah, oh Lisa, I gotta come back to you, glory to God. God, hallelujah, oh yeah, and in October, uh, all you needed was one catering order, that's all you needed to get your foot wet, how many of you know all you need is one opportunity, and if God gives you the opportunity, you're going to seize the opportunity, you're going to put your best foot forward, because if God can trust you with one opportunity. He can trust you with all of heaven. My God, from such, y'all don't hear what the Lord, if he can trust you with a hundred dollars, God can trust you with a thousand.
thousand dollars and if he trusts you with a thousand he can trust you with ten thousand oh yeah and if he can trust you Markel with ten he can trust you with a hundred if he can trust you with a hundred thousand Angela he can trust you Nick he can trust you with a million and say here now go be a blessing somebody ought to thank God that God is teaching you how to be trustworthy oh Oh, yeah. So what does this have to do? Uh, Hallelujah with our scripture. Uh, I'm glad you ask. Joshua uh, chapter number four that was read in your hearing. Uh, Hallelujah. The children of Israel. Uh, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Moses has died. Y'all sit down. Let's talk for a second. Uh, Moses has died. Glory to God. Uh, Hallelujah. And now they're under new leadership. Joshua has stepped up in the forefront to be the leader of the children of Israel. Now, Joshua, like you and I, when it's our turn to lead, he got nervous. And God said, Joshua, have I not told you to be strong and of good courage. Just like I was with Moses, I'm going to be with you. Just like he was with your mama, he's going to be with you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank God for the prayers of our mamas and daddies. But now God is raising you and I up to pray for ourselves. God is raising us up and saying, be strong and of good courage. Because just like I heard them, I am going to hear you. Oh, I thought somebody would get excited that God is going to turn his ear towards you like he did your parents and your grandparents and God says Joshua come on son I've equipped you for this next task city of refuge where God is taking us God has equipped us for this next task we don't look at numbers hallelujah oh my God we don't look at empty seats we look at full seats glory to god hallelujah ah yeah when brother stevie walked in the church today he said y'all changed around in here yep brother stevie we're just getting ready ah to get ready for the over we gotta come on let's pull all the chairs out because we gotta get ready come on in city we gotta get ready for the overflow you can't wait until they get here to do it you gotta get if you believe god's gonna do it you get ready if you believe God's going to give you more, you start getting ready now before. He said, Joshua, oh, I made y'all promises. Yeah, my servant is did. Uh, He took y'all as far as he could take y'all. But Joshua, now it's your time. Uh, Hallelujah. I came to announce to us uh, our four parents took us as far as they could in God. But now is our time uh, to step up to the plate. Hallelujah. And intercede and stay on the altar and worship God. God, like our foreparents did until cancer is dried up in the midst of us, until lame folk get up and start walking. Somebody shout, I want more. And so, 
Joshua now at the helm of these million plus folk. Hallelujah. With all their attitudes, with all their disbeliefs. But God said, Joshua, it don't matter who don't believe. I need for the leaders to believe. I need to take a moment and speak to every leader that's a part of the city of refuge. This ain't no time for us not to believe. Ah, oh, yeah. If the people don't believe the leaders, definitely we got to believe the word of God. Hallelujah. And how shall they know without a preacher? And how shall they preach unless God sends them leaders? God is sending us to lead this people to the promise that he's made for us. Somebody shout, yes, Lord. And let me say, uh, leaders, oh, uh, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, we got to do like the disciples. If they don't, we want everybody to go. But if they keep missing the train, we got to dust uh, uh, our feet off and we got to keep moving uh, because there is a Kairos time. There is a, an appointed time of God, where God opens up everything and makes a way for his people. And he says, Joshua, get up. Stop crying. Stop being sad about who left. Stop being sad about who died. Y'all got work to do. I came to Day, ah, uh, yeah, to say, listen, we gotta wipe our tears. Yep, we stay would have stayed. Ah, uh, yeah, in fact, ask some to come back, but they still said no. All right, ah, uh, yeah, we done invited you back. Ah, uh, yeah, if you don't want to come, ah, uh, you stay. Oh, y'all don't, uh, I'm gonna make some of y'all mad. Ah, uh, yeah, you stay right there, but we got a work to do. Ah, uh, yeah, and we are moving forward. God says, Joshua, tell them it's time for them to move forward. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Will you shout at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, move forward. Move forward. Hallelujah. Because there are a lot of folk moving, Elder, but they ain't moving forward. They're going in circles. Ah, oh, yeah. Uh, every time this year, uh, this time of year, they start dealing with the same stuff. At some point, you got to move forward. Is there anybody here that's ready to move forward? Oh yeah. Glory to God. God says, Joshua, listen, what I need for you to do, glory to God, is to gather the leaders together. I need for you to say to the leaders, this is the plan uh, that God gave me for us to go get the promise. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He says, leaders, this is what we got to do. Ah, uh, yeah, leaders, those of us that are glory carriers. Hallelujah. Uh, a leader is not a title alone, but you can be a leader and got no title at all. Ah, uh, yeah, because all of us, if we were honest, we got influence over somebody. Oh, yeah. Somebody listens to what we say. When you say, I ain't going to do it, they don't do it. But when you understand uh, your influence, uh, you decide, I'm going to do it God's way because I got folk watching how I'm living. I'd rather uh, do it God's way than do it my own way and lead folk astray. Oh, y'all getting quiet. Oh, yeah. And God God says, Joshua, this is what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to go, and I want you to pick 12 men, and I want you to go and tell them to spy out the land. Hallelujah. Uh, it's in Joshua chapter 2. Uh, 
Go, go, go. Tell them to spy out the land. Check out what I promised them. What God has been doing over these 11 last months, uh, these last 11 months, he's just been allowing us to check out. Oh, yeah. If you think what God did was something before, ah, baby, I came to tell you what God's about to do. It's going to blow your everlasting mind. Hallelujah. God's getting ready to do exceeding and abundantly above all that we could ask or think according to the power that's working in us. Somebody shout, God's getting ready to do more than I ever expected. And he says, y'all go check out the land. Hallelujah. He said, I want y'all to go. Hallelujah. Not to the church to check out the land. But I want y'all to go to the street corner. To a prostitute's house by the name of Rahab. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God, we got to get out of these four walls because God is calling us to some Rahabs out there. Hallelujah. Y'all got quiet. Oh, yeah. There are some drug dealers on the outside that will never come in, but they need a church who understands that the church is not a building, but the church is us. Hallelujah. They need Folk to go out. He said, send 12 folk uh, and spy out the land. Hallelujah. I'm going to check it out. Hallelujah. God just been letting you check out. Oh, uh, yeah. I know you didn't understand. Why am I going through this? Why did I have to deal with this? Why did it have to be like this? God was just letting you check out. Hallelujah. What he was about to do in your life. Hallelujah. And then God says, listen, uh, after they go check it out. I need you to get the Levites together, the priest together, and I need for you all to take the Ark of the Covenant. Uh, the Ark of the Covenant, Nicole, represented the presence of the Lord. He said, don't y'all move forward without me. I came to make a public service announcement as the pastor of the city of refuge. We ain't doing nothing without the glory of the Lord. I'd rather y'all just stay at home uh, instead of coming here and God's glory ain't with us. Hallelujah. I want, is there anybody else who wants God's glory above everything else. Wherever your glory is, that's where I want to be. He said, get the leaders that carry the glory. Hallelujah. And Tell them they got a Jordan River, hallelujah, that they got across. Hallelujah. I came to tell somebody, God's getting ready to do it for you, Nick, but you got one last river to cross, but you can do it with the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, yes, y'all. Ah, yeah. Glory to God. God, hallelujah, and the priest, the Bible says, uh, in chapter 3, Nicole, ah, uh, yeah, verses 1 through 18, the Bible says, Joshua says, priest, y'all go first and step into the water before the people step if you ain't got a preacher that knows how to intercede, you need another preacher because they have to be the first partakers of this gospel. And so he said, y'all go and y'all step in the Jordan uh, because 
God, hallelujah, is about to do a miraculous work in your eyesight. Holla, check out chapter number three. Oh, uh, yeah, I got to get through here quick now. Uh, Joshua uh, is named after you, brother. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, hallelujah, that Joshua and the Levites, they step in. They step in first, hallelujah, glory to God. And the Bible says the glory carriers, when they step in the water, now you gotta understand the Jordan River, uh, it was a rushing river. The water always went over the banks of the river, hallelujah. And if you weren't careful, you could get swept away by the water. Ah, yeah, but when you got the glory, ah, yeah, the glory will blow on the waters. And so it is in chapter number three. Ah, yeah, God, when the priest stepped in, cow, the waters began to roll up just like the Red Sea. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Well, uh, some of you may say, well, why would God do it again? Because you got new folk that were born in the wilderness uh, that had never seen the Red Sea for themselves. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, but God wanted to show them the same way I did it at the Red Sea. I can do it at the Jordan Rivers. Oh, yeah. See, some of y'all came into the church later on in life, and you need a real life experience with God. You need to see God roll you into an operating room and they slice your chest open. You needed to see that God, I can't do nothing for myself. My wife can't help me. My mama can't help me. These doctors can't help me. God, you are the chief physician. God, operate on my Some of you were wrapped up and tied up in stuff. Seven steps, 12 steps. AA couldn't get you out of it. But Jehovah Shira, who is your provider, stepped in and loosed you from every chain. Can I get somebody to give God a praise that God said? He said, step in. He said, step in. Oh, yeah, don't try to get around the river. Step in. I came to tell somebody, stop trying to get out of this. Step in it and live because God is with you. And just like he did it before, he's going to do it. He's going to do it again. And the Bible says that God says, Joshua, what I want you to do, hallelujah, ah, oh, yeah. By the way, uh, the sermon title is Mark the Spot. Tell your neighbor, you got to mark the spot, hallelujah, glory to God. God, hallelujah. God said, Joshua, I need you to get 12 men, one man from every tribe, elder, right? He said, and I need for them to get a stone. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, yeah, I got to put my first pen and point right here. There's some things that were so heavy this year for us uh, that other folk broke under the pressure of it. But God I'll gave you the strength to bear it up. Yeah, when other folk 
threw in the towel. Nico, God gave you the strength to say, okay, God, I'm in it now. God, we got to keep going for. Is there anybody in this room that would say, God, I'm in too deep now. I got to keep going. He said, he said, now, Joshua, Joshua, be careful about the people that you pick uh, to carry this weight with you. Uh, you can't pick them because they're your boot thing. You can't pick them because they're your best friend. You need to pick somebody that knows how to pray. You need to pick somebody that knows how to worship. You need to pick somebody that knows how to fast. Hallelujah, because the weight of these stones. Now, when we read the text, uh, Markel, he wasn't talking about a stone like this. He was talking about a boulder. Hallelujah. He said, get 12 men that can take a boulder and carry it on their shoulders. Hallelujah. Some of y'all have been carrying boulders on your shoulders, and it wasn't for you, but it was for those that God's about to send in the Jordan. You were carrying it, not for yourself, but for somebody else. My God. God. And God says, Joshua, what I want them to do, uh, they got the glory uh, and they got the burden. Uh, I want them to start moving forward. Hallelujah. And as they make steps forward, I'm a blow on the water and it's going to become dry ground for them. The reason stuff looks like it keeps overflowing in your life because you ain't making steps forward. But when you move forward, it got to go back. Y'all didn't hear that. Uh, you ought to shake your neighbor and tell your neighbor when you move forward, God will blow it back. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, yeah. And the Bible says, hallelujah, that the Levites, the priests, they get to the middle of the Jordan River. And when they get to the middle of it, ah, uh, some of y'all are in the middle of a situation. Ah, oh, yeah, you in too deep. Ah, oh, you feel like I can't keep going forward. Ah, oh, but you're in too deep to turn around and go back because you know what you just came out of. Hallelujah. But the Bible says that they stood there in the middle uh, with the glory of God. God, hallelujah, what is the glory? Uh, how do we get the glory, Nicole? We worship him, we praise him because he will inhabit the praise of his people. Hallelujah, if you need right through here, God to blow on something in your life and get it out your way, I dare you, I double dog dare you to open your mouth and give God praise. Come on, open your mouth. He says, Joshua, what I want you to do as the new pastor, I want you to watch them moving forward, but I got another job for you. I want you to get 12 stones yourself. Ah, uh, see, there are some things. I know y'all love me. I know it without a shadow of a doubt, but there are some things that you can't help me bear. God called me to bear them uh, by myself. What you can do is pray God keep giving our pastor the strength to bear these boulders on his shoulder. Ah, oh, yeah, I thought I'd get one or two intercessors that would believe in the power of prayer. I had to come to the realization, uh, preaching a gospel. Uh, ah, yeah, but God had to say, okay, uh, you've been telling them, uh, I'm Jehovah Rapha, uh, I'm going to let you die. 
and I'm going to raise you back up. Nobody will be able to take the credit for this but me. You got to shoulder this up. Hallelujah. And isn't it interesting, Donna, that God allowed it to happen when nobody could get in the hospital. Hallelujah. Sometimes God will put you in a place where nobody can get to you but him. Money can't. Money can't deliver you. Ah, yeah. Only God. Is there anybody in this room that got a real testimony that would say, God left me right there. It was just him and me. And the Bible says, Joshua, oh, what I want you to do is I want you to gather 12 stones. Hallelujah. Because what I want you to do, mark the spot, Joshua. Oh, yeah. The S. I want you to show evidence oh, that God is the one who did this. Oh, yeah. See, some of y'all missed it right there. Uh, Nick, uh, my brother, I was thinking about you as God was giving me uh, this uh, sermon. I remember coming to your house, uh, Elder Wright, and I, and I remember uh, how frail you were at that time. I remember seeing the scar going across your chest. Hallelujah. And God said, tell my son, ah, uh, yeah, it was so that he could show the evidence. This is not a made up story. Oh yeah, I got evidence. Oh yeah. And if you remember, I said, Nick, lay your hand right here because I want you to feel the evidence that if God did it for somebody like me, surely God, and every time I see you, you keep getting stronger and stronger. Somebody ought to thank God for the strength of your breath that he keeps getting. Somebody else ought to thank God that you're getting stronger and stronger and stronger. It didn't kill you. It was just evidence that God is working in your God. Yeah, folk, uh, Mike's just evidence uh, that even after eight years, God is God that'll wake him up out of his sleep. Ah, uh, yeah, and all of us will have to say, that's the Lord's, that's the Lord's doing. And God said, Joshua, this is why I want you to do it. Hallelujah. They're going to take 12 stones to where we're going. But I need you to leave 12 stones back here where we are. Because the Jordan River every year, Nicole, it would recede. Hallelujah. And folk, when they would travel, uh, they would see these 12 stones and they would begin to ask, what are those stones about? Uh, and it would became a witnessing moment. Why do you praise God? God, the way you do. Let me tell you, my. Let me just give you a glimpse of my. Is there anybody that got a glimpse of your story? Oh, yeah. And we'll say, let me show you the evidence. Oh, uh, the doctor said I had stage four cancer and now I don't got cancer at all. The doctor said my diabetes was so high that I would have to be on insulin the rest of my life. Look, here's the report right here. I got the evidence. Oh, but God is a chief physician. Hallelujah. God did this. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. 
Oh, tell somebody, you got to learn how to mark the spot. You got to show evidence. Because some folk, they ain't going to believe unless they see. Oh, yeah, let me just bring it home, Cal. Some of us didn't believe until we saw. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. You didn't believe God could really provide everything you needed until you didn't have nothing. He will make a believer out of you. Secondly, God says, uh, now listen, Joshua, first of all, you got to you gotta show the evidence. He says, now what I want them to do is I want them to position themselves for the promise. Hallelujah. Don't look back. Don't look to the side. Don't look to the east nor to the west, but look north. Hallelujah. I came to tell somebody, the Lord says, uh, you got to mark the spot and you got to position yourself for the promise because the promise is on the other side of the Jordan River. Hallelujah. If you can get past the water of the Jordan, you can see your promise. Is there anybody that will clear your eyes in this sanctuary and say, okay, God, I can see see the promise. I can see I was thrown off by the water, by the storm, and by the rain. But God, I can see clearly now. And Angela, uh, God didn't say, wait until the battle was over. Ah, uh, yeah, to praise me. He said, while the rain is still falling, hallelujah, while the waters are still rolling all around you, he said, Joshua, tell the priest to give me praise. City of refuge, while you're still in it, give God Jump on your feet and give God praise. Come on, open your mouth. Come on, give God. Position yourself for the promise. Come on. Now, don't, don't sit down, because I'm, I'm out your way, Markel. Hallelujah. When you I don't know if you've ever been in water that was rough, but you got to get your footing so that you won't fall. These 11 last months, God has just been helping us get our footing. And you shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of living water. Somebody thank God that on this first Sunday, you've got your footing and you're in position for your problem. I dare you, I dare you to get your footing. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, 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 it ain't going to knock me over. Uh, uh, I got my footing in God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Markel, I remember one day when we were over at your uncle and aunt's house uh, and they were messing with you because they said you were a fighter. Hallelujah. Uh, and because I'm an observant person, uh, I noticed that when Tyron tried to get you and knock you down, what you did was you went low. Some of y'all missed it. Whenever the enemy tries to knock you down, you got to get. You can't knock me down when I'm already on my knees. Hallelujah. Somebody say I'm in position for my promise.
And as much as Deacon Tyron tried to take you down, ah, uh, yeah, because you were in position, uh, I saw you, ah, uh, you start moving. Oh. Uh, I'm getting out of this. I'm getting out of this. I'm getting Uncle Tyron. I'm getting out of this. Is there anybody that would say I'm in position and I'm getting out of this? If God be for me, I'm coming out. Verse number 19, verse 19, Angela, says this, and then they came. Look at the first five words, then they came. Then they came out. I came to tell somebody, uh, it's time for you uh, to come on out. Ah, oh, yeah. Glory to God. You're in position for the promise. You got your footing. You got your mind. God gave you your right mind back. You got a settled heart. You got a spirit that's settled and at peace. Hallelujah. And it's time for you to come out. Shout to your neighbor and tell your neighbor it's time to come out. Why, why, why do I need to come out of this cow? Because uh, God said, Joshua, tell my people, uh, there are other nations that will need to know that I'm still alive. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, the la it, it makes me laugh sometimes, Nicole, uh, when people see me now. I guess they were expecting that I would still be on a walker and in a wheelchair. They're expecting that I would not have any strength. But when they see me now, they are like, what happened? Oh, yeah, I've had folk to walk by me. Oh, yeah. And I'll stop them and I'll say, hey, uh, I'll pull my mask down. I'll say, hey, it's me. They're like, what? What? <laughs> the last thing we heard about you was you was about to die. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ah, oh, yeah, I was. In fact, ah, oh, yeah, ah, oh, I coded a couple of times, but ah, oh, yeah, God left me so somebody else would know that God was still God. <laughs> Donna, why didn't you lose your mind five years ago? Josh, why didn't you become a statistic three years ago? You didn't have to graduate from high school with honors. You didn't have to go to college on a free ride. But God just needed somebody to know that I'm God. And it don't matter what situation you're in, I'm The Lord said, tell the city. They got to keep telling the story. It don't matter who get tired of hearing you. Nick, it don't matter who get tired of hearing the story. Keep telling your story, brother. They were not there. They don't know what it felt like. They don't know the experiences that you went through. Helena and Dewey are going to ask you one day, Daddy, what does that mean? Daddy, why are you crying? Mama, why are you crying like that? And y'all get to tell the story. It was March of 2021. Look at the scripture. Joshua gives the day, the month. He said on the 10th day, in the first month of the year, we came out. Oh my God. On the 7th day of the 11th month of the year, God brought us out. Nick, keep telling the story. March, what was the day? March 7th. 
Uh, March 7th, I went to church with my family, trying to get my life together. Yeah, just wanting to love God. Hallelujah. I go outside. I take my family to get a bite to eat. Oh, uh, yeah, everything fine. Glory to God. I went home because I'm trying to get buff for my wife. Start lifting a little weights. Oh, uh, yeah, and then something happened. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I felt a tingling uh, in my foot. Oh, uh, yeah, and before I knew it, the tingles start coming up. Do you mind if I tell your story? Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God. And the tingle came up my foot, hallelujah, down my leg, hallelujah, up my arm. Ah, oh, yeah, I looked at my wife, ah, oh, yeah, with her dainty self and said, baby, I got to go to the hospital. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, yeah, here she is, trying not to break down. My God, trying to be strong uh, for me and her. Ah, uh, yeah, as we're going to the hospital, uh, I'm thinking about my family. Uh, who going to take care of my wife? God, who going to take care of my children? God, I got to make it out of this. Ah, uh, Mr. Wilson, uh, we don't know what happened, but we got to rush you uh, into emergency surgery. Ah, uh, yeah, we ain't got time to wait. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, my God. God, hallelujah. Somebody shout, tell your story. Tell your story. Ah, yeah. And the goal, he said, before they put me under, I said, God, if you bring me out, I'm going to live my life for you. Glory to God. And from that day to this one, he been running with everything. You ought to lean on your neighbor and tell your story. Come on, tell your neighbor your story. Come on, open your mouth and tell your neighbor your story. Uh, uh, tell your story. Amen. Mark the spot. This is a uh, cow. Uh, yeah. Son died. It broke her. Uh, she only had one son. It broke her down. But she kept on trusting in God. She had to cry through it. But she kept on trusting God. Ah, oh, yeah. Then they diagnosed her with cancer. She had to go through the treatment center. Ah, oh, but God, oh, do you mind if I tell your story? I dare you. Come on, we got 30 seconds left before this benediction. I dare you to look at your neighbor and just tell him a piece of your story. Come on, open your mouth and look at him and tell him a piece of your story. And they overcame him by the blood of the land and by the word of their testimony. In other words, they kept telling this story. Uh, keep telling your story. Tell it until you can't tell it again. Well, pastor, when can I not tell it when you did? You keep right on telling it. And then when you get in glory, uh, find Gabriel and say, Gabriel, let me tell you what Jesus did for me. Tell somebody I got to mark the spot. I got to mark the spot. Uh, yeah, dealing with some heavy stuff. But God is with us. 
and he's going to shoulder up every one of these boulders because we're coming out of this. We're coming out of this. Is there anybody that you believe in your sanctified soul? I'm coming out of this. So the rest of my life, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep marking the spot. I'm going to mark the spot. Yep. This is when it happened. This is, let me tell you what happened. I was telling Sister Cal this, and we can want prayer. When Josh and I went to, to uh, England, went to Europe this summer, I said, Cal, I could tell, I could tell you everything that we experienced, but unless you were there, you can't truly understand what it felt like to see the Eiffel Tower for yourself. Not on a picture. You'll never know what it felt like to be so scared that it was going to happen again. But you kept trusting God. God, you won't leave me. God, you won't forsake me. You'll never know what it felt like uh, to have your mind all wrapped up in confusion. Yeah, we could try to tell you, but you'll never know what it was like unless you've experienced it. That's why I got to keep telling the story. Yeah, you got to mark the spot. Are there any real folk that got a real story today? That you would say, listen. Listen, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care who don't want to listen to it anymore. If you don't want to listen, you can leave, but I'm going to keep telling my story. Because God's been too good for me not to tell of his goodness. See, things like this, we read about in scripture, but when God does it before your eyes, how dare we not tell the story? And Nick, I don't mean to keep picking on you, but when, when we got the call and we start praying, because physically, emotionally, it would seem like, well, it was good knowing Nick. But spiritually, we said, no, nah, God, no, nah, God, no, no, no. God, you didn't save this man and bring him this far to snuff his life out now. Tell the story. Your great-grandchildren, they're going to look back and they're going to be like, why did grandmama, why does she talk like that? Why does she? Because they kept telling the story. When James comes in, see where he is right now, Nicole, you can't, your hands are tied. If you could, you would go get him. If you could, you would save him yourself. Am I being honest? But where he is, God got him. And God says, now is my time. And when he comes back, he'll have a story that he'll be able to tell. Ah, uh, come on here, saints. Come on, if you got a real story, lift those hands. And I want you to begin to worship God that he trusted you, hallelujah, with the testimony. God doesn't trust everybody to carry the weight of it. But he trusted you to carry it. Donna, there would have been other women that would have been like, look, I'm going to roll my husband into a nursing home and I'm going to let somebody else take care of him. Don't you dare think that God has not seen your labor of love. Don't you dare think. I know you get wearied and tired. But don't you dare, Josh, don't you 
dare think God hasn't heard your prayers for your daddy. Other sons would have been like, forget both of y'all. I'm going on to live with my life. Huh. But God could trust you all to stay right there and position yourselves for the promise. Come on, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank him with your hands lifted, thank him. Thank you, God, that you could trust me. You trusted me. You trusted me that I wouldn't give up. Markel Job said it like this, and we're going to pray, man. Job said in Job 23, he said, the Lord knows the way that I take. And when he has tried me, I shall come forth as pure gold. I'm coming out, and I'm going coming out, and I'm going to come out better than I went in. Listen, 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 we're praying, we're praying, we're praying. I need you to see it while you're in it. And I need you to begin to thank God. God, I'm in it, but you are not leaving me. You're not forsaking me. God, I don't know when I'm coming out, but God, I believe, I believe I'm coming out of this Jordan River. I'm going to come out of this Jordan River. And when I look back, I won't even be able to remember everything I went through because of the joy that you're going to give me when I come out. Come on, thank him that you're in it. Thank you. Thank, thank, a lot of times we thank him, hallelujah, that we're out of it. But thank him that you're still in, that you're in for the moment. Because he's teaching you how to trust him more. He's teaching you how to believe in him more. So, Father, this morning, we thank you. We thank you for this Jordan River. Thank you for this Jordan River experience. Yes. God, we no longer have to go on the testimonies of our foreparents about their Red Sea experiences. God, thank you. Thank you for giving us a Jordan River that now when we tell folk that our God is good, we'll be able to tell them with such conviction and such confidence because you brought us through. So thank you. Thank you. And God, we're going to praise you while we're in it. We're going to worship you while we're in it. While we're still in the thick of it, we're going to give you glory. my God, because we found you to be a good God. We know you to be good. Glory to God. And Father, I pray. I pray for the strength of this people. Father God, as you have called us to move forward, I pray for our strength. Strengthen every weak place. Build up every broken down place. Our desire is to please you. And to please you in the fullest. Thank you, God, for our Rehoboth. Thank you for making room for us. Thank you that you're going to make room for us. Father, we love you. Father, we honor you. God, as we close, Father, I thank you for my sister, my brother. 
I thank you for this, my precious neighbor that's standing beside me. Thank you. Thank you, God, that you're, that you're not going to leave them in their Jordan River experience. But God, thank you that you're going to bring them out too. So, Father, I pray that you would use us as, as means of encouragement to help build those up that are experiencing their Jordan River. God, that they will not faint. Father God, thank you that you caused men to ride over our heads. You allowed us to go to the, through the fire. You allowed us to go through the flood, through the waters. But God, you bought us out into a wealthy place, into a place of abundance. So God, thank you for the promises that are on the other side of this Jordan River. And we give you praise. God, not just for the promises, but we thank you, God, that you too are on the other side of this Jordan River. Yes. And so we put our hands together and we begin to give you glory. Father God, that you're there on the other side. Come on, let's give him glory. Come on, will you open up your mouth? Come on, let's give him glory. Listen, while we're standing, there may be those of you that are joining us by Zoom, Facebook Live, conference line, you do not know. Jesus Christ says your Lord and Savior, but today, today you want to turn your heart over to him. We want to take this opportunity to invite you to come to know this great God that we serve. If that's you today, will you simply type into the chat bar, the comment section, I want to be saved. I want to come back home. I need for you all to pray with me and pray for me. If that's you today, we got time to pray for you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's you. God's my worship. Glory to God. And Father God, we've done that which you have assigned to us to do. So we thank you now. In the strong, the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And those who receive the word and love God gave God another thunderous round of applause in this room. Come on, if you love it. If you love him, come on if you really love him. Come on if you really love him. Will you just tell your neighbor, I will mark my spot. I'll mark my spot. I will mark spots. Listen, we're going home. Amen. Please keep all of our announcements um, in mind. We want to thank all of you who have joined us by Facebook Live, by a conference line, by Zoom. We bless God for you. We do not take it lightly that you have joined with us. Amen. And we thank God for every one of you here on the campus of the City of Refuge. We thank God so very much for you. Listen, this upcoming week, uh, we are going to continue our consecration. And what I want you to do uh, for this upcoming week, I want you to select, pray, and select one of the watches. And I want you to consecrate during that watch. Uh, the watches, again, are from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. From 9 p.m. to 12 a.m from 12 a.m. to 3 a.m., then from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. Those are all the watches of the night. The watches of the day are from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m., from 9 a.m. to 12 noon, from 12 noon to 3 p.m., and from 3 p.m. until 6 p.m. Listen, 
ask God which, which watch that he would have you to cover. And during that time, I want you to really fast and pray. Hallelujah. How many of you really know that you're coming out? You are really coming out. And you need God to help keep your footing as you come out of what you're in. Hallelujah. And if you will, if you will shoot me a text uh, for the sake of time, I won't, I won't try to ask now, but if you'll shoot me a text and if you'll say, Pastor, I got three from six in the morning, I got it covered. Amen. I will be fasting and praying. That means you need to go back and you need to pull out all of the information that we've been given um, over these past two months. Amen. And we want to just pray. Will you all do that? Hallelujah. I want the glory of the Lord. Anybody else you want his glory? Will you realize we can't do this without his glory? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, we're going home. Amen. Please remember, we are super excited the third Sunday. Amen. We are going to ordain our second deacon. are excited, excited, amen, amen, amen. We want to tell, we want to blow a trumpet, amen, amen, amen. Man, I am so proud of what God is doing in you. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. proud of what God is doing, what God is doing in you, amen. Many other men gave up for less than what you've gone through. But God allows you to stick and to stay. Amen. And City, I thank God for every one of you who, who have grabbed hold to what God is doing in this hour. Thank you. Thank you for trusting the God in me. Amen. To lead us forward. I do not take it lightly at all. I love you all. I love you all so very much. Well, let's go home. Let's go home. Amen. Amen. Will you look at your neighbor and will you simply say to your neighbor, I'm praying for you. Tell him I'm praying that the Lord will bless you. I'm praying that the Lord will keep you. I'm praying that the Lord will make his face to shine upon you. I am praying that the Lord will be gracious unto you. I am praying that the Lord will lift his countenance upon you. And I am praying that the Lord will give you peace. May your good days outweigh all of your bad days. And may your bad days prove that God is good. Come on, come on. Will you give them an air hug? Give them an air hug. Unless they're your family, give them. If they're your family, hug them. Hug them. May your Let them know that you love them. Let them know you absolutely love them.